dramatic humanitarian situation. In a few days, more than 100,000 people crossed that border. Uh, uh, many were Tunisians and Egyptians, but there are also Libyans uh, running out of the country because of the conflict. Uh, uh, there are uh, uh, nationals of other uh, countries. And uh, the pressure is such, and uh, the lack of capacity to respond to this pressure and, and to, uh, uh, to respond to the needs of these people, uh, this lack of capacity is, is so dramatic that it is absolutely essential to immediately uh, uh, do a massive uh, humanitarian evacuation. <laughs> We have tens of thousands of Egyptians, of uh, people from different countries in Asia, different countries in Africa that want to go home, and it's vital to bring them home. Uh, and so we need planes. Uh, uh, to move to Egypt, we need boats. Uh, and uh, we ask countries uh, to put these assets at our disposal. <laughs> The biggest tragedy is of the Libyan people itself, and uh, the, the Libyan people is, is suffering so much, and it's absolutely essential to stop this carnage. Um, at the same time, we have also in Libya uh, lots of Africans, and uh, because of the fact that uh, uh, the government used African mercenaries uh, in the fighting, mm -hmm. uh, there is a risk of uh, people uh, making a confusion and uh, blaming all Africans uh, uh, to be linked to, to these operations. And of course, the overwhelming majority are innocent people that were working in, in, uh, in Libya, some of them not even having a country to go back. <laughs> Some people will cross the Mediterranean, uh, uh, Libyans for instance, uh, if uh, this turns into a full-fledged civil war, uh, uh, it, it's very important that Europe also uh, assumes its responsibility as a continent of asylum. Um, I have recommended to the uh, European uh, Council of Ministers of Justice and Home Affairs uh, when I was in Brussels last week, if there is a massive flow of Libyans uh, fleeing conflict into Europe, my suggestion is to use the European legislation that allow for a temporary protection regime to be established uh, as probably the most practical way to guarantee protection for uh, these people.